What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are starting a brand new build. We are taking this twin cylinder 18 horsepower Briggs & engine and cramming it in to this little tiny 600 watt electric scooter. This thing I found at a junkyard, it was like five bucks, so I bought it for the junkyard. It worked, but you know, it's weak. It's not powerful at all. It was, it did come with a 350 watt motor, but I swapped it up to a 600, trying to make it a little better. It was better, but it still wasn't anywhere near fast or powerful or anything. It's, you know, it's meant for street, street use, which out here on dirt and stones, it does not do that good. So today, we're putting this thing on here, which is gonna be pretty amazing. I have a four inch pulley on there, going to this pulley, which will be on a jack shaft. So I have bearings, shaft, number 35 sprocket, number 35 VIX sprocket, idler pulley for the clutch, lots of belts, chain. So the plan is I'm gonna take this sprocket, and then actually this sprocket right here will not. I was hoping it would bolt right up to that sprocket, but it does not. I could probably drill holes in this sprocket and bolt it to it, but this sprocket is the exact same size as that. So there's not enough space in there to really do anything. So, I'm going to take this electric scooter over here. I'm taking this whole back wheel off, which has the same size sprocket, but it has bolt holes. I'll show you right here. It has bolt holes, and those bolt holes line up perfectly with the sprocket, at least I hope. I'm pretty sure I've done it before, so it should be fine. So that'll line up perfectly with that. Same size wheel, just like a half inch wider, so it should be no problem. The only problem with using that scooter wheel is this right here has a drum brake on it, which is really nice. That wheel right there does not, so I'm going to have to come up with some other kind of brake. Well, you know, who needs a brake? This thing only going to go like 80 miles an hour, so, yeah. Actually, I'm going to have this thing geared to go hopefully like 25 to 30, because on those tiny little tires with that much power and that much weight on a dirt road and, or stones or wherever I'm at, it's going to be a little scary, so, but I'm hoping... All this right here will bolt together. This engine right here, I put it there earlier today and it just barely fit between the seat right there, the seat post, and this front piece right here. So, and by the way, these handlebars, they, um, they fold up. So, if it, lo it was looking a little weird, that's why. It was hitting my light bar up there, so I had to fold them down. But, so the first, part, first step here is to remove all this plastic, remove the motor, remove the tire, with all the batteries, with everything electric on this thing, and then put an 18 horsepower twin cylinder engine on the scooter and make this thing awesome. So let's do this. Alright guys, new day. I finally got this tire, the sprocket mounted on this tire. It took me a few tries, but I finally got it. I had to take washers, you can kind of see right there, I had to stack three washers 
all four ways around here to get it to go straight. And these washers, I had to cut the top of them off to make them fit because it was so close to the, the ratcheting mechanism inside of there. But now, the sprocket's mounted firmly. It is pretty straight. It should be straight enough for what I'm trying to do here. It's not perfect, but it's very difficult to get a sprocket to go perfectly straight on a tire unless it was like designed to do that. So unless you have like super precise washers and everything, which I don't. Um, but I got it all bolted up in there. Everything's all solid. This tire's the exact same size as the previous tire that was on there. It's just like a half inch wider, so it fit perfectly. Um, here's the brake mechanism which will go up to the throttle or the clutch. Not exactly sure what yet. And here's my jack shaft assembly. This jack shaft is going to sit right under here. It's like the only place it would go, and it fits perfectly. It'll fit right up in there, like that. And then the sprocket will be lined up perfectly right over there. And then this pulley will go up to the engine pulley, which will be somewhere up in this range. Not exactly sure where yet. But the only problem I don't like about this is when this is sitting up here, I don't have a ton of clearance from the ground, which isn't a big deal, but I'm not going to be off-roading this thing, but turning this way, it'll lean in here, and hopefully this will not hit the ground, because that would not be ideal to have a pulley spinning quickly hitting the ground, ideally. But now it's time to put the engine on here, have this mounting, mounting plate right here, got a chain, got an eyeless pulley, jack shaft, everything's ready to be assembled, so let's go take the engine and put it on the frame. Doesn't that thing look awesome? All right, so basically, then this jack shaft, this, crack, this pulley will be all the way against the motor here. And then this jack shaft. Will be. Right there with the pulley you got even farther, so. It looks like they're all fit perfect in this place. So, let's start building.
Two five sixteenths to hold it all together, so I would think that would be enough. I hope so. Hold this 570 cc beast, but now I'm gonna work on putting the jack shaft under here. Um, I'm getting four holes drilled for the pillow blocks right here, and then the slots in the pillow blocks that allow me to tighten and loosen the chain, which would be right over here. So let's go ahead and drill some holes and bolt the jack shaft in. I'll take the engine out to drill the last hole for the jack shaft. So that's all we have time for today on this project. The next time we'll be putting the engine back on here, hooking up the rest of the clutch system, the drivetrain, wiring, and clutch, and throttle, and taking this thing for a ride. So, hope you have a very Merry Christmas, spending it with family and friends, and remembering the reason for the season. Thanks for watching Exciting Technology. Be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you next time.